This is Countryside News Channel, your official online and cable news channel, giving you the latest information from the province of Lano del Norte, Countryside News Channel. CS News Channel, News News Mr. Speaker, I move that we recognize the gentleman from the first district of Lanao del Norte, the Honorable Khalid Timapuro. Congressman Timapuro is recognized. Mr. Speaker, will the Honorable uh, uh, Pe Ping Ping Tejada yield to uh, a few short um, questions? Yes, uh, please, uh, Honorable Khalid Timapuro. Um, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I just want to clarify and place on the record um, uh, the future as far as the Bank Samora is concerned. In the ground, in the field, in our region, there's a misunderstanding or a miscommunication that the Bank Samora organic law is also equitable or equates to a get out of jail free card to some rebel commanders. And I would like to get uh, the Honorable Tejada to place into the record exactly what's going to happen. Because we all know really what's happening in Mindanao. Itong mga rebelde, sometimes they are not really just fighting our military, fighting for the rebellion cause. But on the sideline, to make money, they also engage in illegal activities. They engage in kidnapping. They engage in cattle rustling. They engage in arson. They engage in murder. If they're doing all of these illegal things and attacking and killing and harassing our innocent civilians, isn't it natural that Department of Justice do its job, do its mandate, and bring justice to these criminal, crimi criminal personalities? So I'd like to get on the record, Mr. Speaker. Once the Bank Samoro organic law is enacted, especially after the plebiscite on January, will or will not these rebel commanders who have pending cases in our courts face the justice system of the Philippine government? Mr. Speaker, may I get a quick answer from... Yes, uh, Mr. Speaker, with the concern of uh, Representative Demaporo, it was stated and as inquired in the budget hearing in the committee, committee level, the inquiries as to the list and the status of cases filed against specific Commander Bravo, Mr. Chairman, is already submitted to Congressman Dimaporo, as well as the other copies of performance data of Lanao del Norte Provincial Prosecutor in relation to cases filed from 2010 to pre present, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I don't think that was my question. My question, uh, which I uh, thank you, um, Honorable Tejada, uh, for acknowledging my queries during the budget briefing. My question was simply, simply a yes or no, if you will indulge me, after the Bank Samoro organic law is passed, all of those rebel commanders that have pending cases in our courts, or maybe even arrest warrants, will not simply be let loose and forgiven. Dadaan pa sila sa justice system. It's, uh, I would like to just get a simple yes or no from the honorable sponsor. Yes, uh, Mr. Speaker, because the creation of the BOL does not uh, exclude the areas covered by BOL, Mr. Speaker, to any law that is uh, being uh, imposed and it applies to all Filipinos, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And uh, since uh, my query during the budget deliberation was brought up, I would like to place on record that Commander Bravo, who is the commander of the MILF in our region, the Lanao region, has 19 pending cases in Lanao del Norte and Lanao del Sur and Iligan City, and three pending cases in the RTC here in Pasig City. That's all that I have. Thank you, Honorable Sponsor, for addressing my concerns. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. This is Countryside News Channel, your official online and cable news channel, giving you the latest information from the province of Lano del Norte, Countryside News Channel.